It's neither a bird nor a plane, but a winged microchip as small as a grain of sand that can be carried by the wind as it monitors such things as pollution levels or the spread of airborne diseases. The tiny microflyers, whose development by engineers at Northwestern University was detailed in an article published by Nature this week, are being billed as the smallest ever human-made flying structures. The devices don't have a motor, but engineers were instead inspired by the maple tree's free-falling propeller seeds, technically known as Samara fruit. They optimized the aerodynamics of the microflyers so that as these structures fall through the air, the interaction between the air and those wings cause a rotational motion that creates a very stable, slow, falling velocity, said John A. Rogers, who led the development of the devices. That all. The wind would scatter the tiny microchips, which could sense their surrounding environments and collect information. The scientists say they could potentially be used to monitor for contamination, surveil populations or even track diseases. Their creators foresee microflyers becoming part of large distributed collections of miniaturized, wireless electronic devices. In other words, they could look like a swarm. Although the size and engineering of the microflyers is unique, we reported on the development of similar micro drones in March. The concept has also found its way to the dystopian science fiction series Black Mirror. But unlike maple seeds, the engineers needed to slow down the descent of their microflyers to give them more time to collect data. Team member Yang Gong Huang developed a computer model that calculated the best design for the microflyers to fall slowly and disperse widely. This is impossible with trial and error experiments, Huang said. The team also drew inspiration from pop-up books for children for the construction of such tiny devices. The engineers first created a base and then bonded it to a slightly stretchy rubber substrate, according to the Northwestern News release. When relaxed, that substrate pops up into a precise three-dimensional shape. We think that we beat nature, Rogers said. At least in the narrow sense that we have been able to build structures that fall with more stable trajectories and at slower terminal velocities than equivalent seeds that you would see from plants or trees.